Many of your favorite Marvel movies feature plenty of intense action sequences. Plenty of which required your favorite superhero stars to get out of their comfort zones. In fact, there's been more than a couple of times when filming these scenes got so extreme that it actually became quite dangerous for everyone involved. Yes! That was awesome! Tom Holland felt like the right decision was made when filming Spider-Man's first encounter with the villainous vulture in Homecoming, ending with Spidey being dropped in a lake. Holland had initially begged the crew to allow him to perform the stunt. In the end, a stuntman was flown out in a helicopter and then was dunked in the lake, in the most dangerous stunt of the film. After watching it play out, Holland was thankful that he didn't end up doing it, claiming that watching the stuntman perform the dive was the scariest thing he had ever seen. Zoe Zaldana typically enjoys a lot of her own stunt work whenever she has the opportunity to, but that doesn't make it any less frightening at times. Zaldana was required to jump from around 30 feet off the ground, and while wire work was being used, she forgot that the jump was going to feel much more like a free fall. So when they said action, and I jumped, cause obviously I don't like to take my time, cause there's so many men watching you, I jumped and thought I was dying. James Gunn wasn't really a fan of Zaldana's acting in that scene, and made her perform the jump again. Just give me your face on that camera. You got it. You know what it. I mean? Okay. While filming the comedy tag, Hawkeye himself, Jeremy Renner, injured himself and wound up with two broken arms. Renner had to film Endgame directly after wrapping tag, which meant that his arms hadn't fully recovered. This led to it being excruciatingly painful for Renner to perform his archery scenes as Hawkeye. Renner had even attempted to go to physical therapy, but ultimately ended up bearing through the pain. Renner realized that Hawkeye really wouldn't be Hawkeye without his bow and arrow. Now that's commitment to the character. While filming T'Challa and Claw's fight scene in Seoul, South Korea, the late Chadwick Boseman had a hard time seeing out of his mask. This was even more unfortunate for Andy Serkis, who just expected a normal fight scene, but wasn't prepared for Boseman to be totally committed to the role. Boseman ended up accidentally kneeing Serkis in the chest so hard in the first take that he thought his ribs were broken. On top of that, the same scene would then be shot 30 more times. Oh mercy, King! One of the most dangerous scenes Bobby Holland Hampton had to film as a double was when he was standing in for Evans in Age of Ultron during the car chase sequence in Seoul. The scene required him to literally surf on a door through the streets of the South Korean city. One false move would have led him not to be able to double for Hemsworth just a few weeks later. Well, he's definitely unhappy! Though the most dangerous stunt Robert Downey Jr.'s double Glenn Foster ever performed was when filming the climactic construction site battle in Iron Man 3. The scene was actually shot at night, making the stunts even more dangerous, and it required Foster to jump off cranes that were around 3 to 400 feet high. You're leaping into darkness and trusting that the various cables you're attached to are going to do what they're supposed to. One of the most exhilarating scenes to film in Ant-Man and the Wasp was filming a stunt during the film's car chase sequence. The stunt required stuntwoman Ingrid Klenig to stand on the back of a flatbed truck as a van would rear end it. This caused Klenig to fly through the back of the truck and smash through the van's glass windshield, all in the hot and fast streets of Atlanta. The opening action sequence in the first episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier featured one of the most dangerous stunts in the MCU to date with the plane hijacking. 90% of the impressive set piece was done practically, with the Red Bull Air Force and a group of experienced wingsuit pilots assisted on the scene as well. They were flying at 140 miles an hour and only a mere 6 inches off from each other as the scene needed them to be as precise as possible. Literally the world's best wingsuit fly who are ready to do this stuff for us. During Spider-Man's fight scene with Captain America, Cap ends up backhanding him with his shield. A ratchet and wire would pull stuntman Marvin Ross forward, which would activate a dead man line attached to his back. This meant whenever somebody would hit him, he would get slammed to the ground. And just after the first take, Ross felt like he couldn't move. We end up doing it four or five times. And after those sequences, I was trying to drink and I couldn't even taste anything. My mind's Crazy. about blown. His might be as well. Chris Pratt had always been curious about performing some of Star-Lord's stunts himself, but he didn't know just how dangerous they could be. 
While performing a stunt that had him and a stunt performer suspended 15 feet in the air, the plans were for Pratt and the double to fall to the ground with controlled speed, ultimately landing on a mat. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned, as the crew accidentally thrust Pratt down in double the speed. Pratt tried to get in a position that wouldn't hurt the stuntman, but it did make for quite the hard landing. I turned this way and bounced my face off the mat. I saw a flash of yellow and it tasted like smoke in my mouth. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> While filming the scene in the fifth episode of the limited series, where Sam and Bucky were trying to fix the Wilson's family boat, Sebastian Stan was required to jump from a dock and onto the boat. I just landed and twisted my ankle so badly that I thought it was broken, like I actually couldn't walk on it. Daniel Hargrave served as Chris Evans' stunt double in multiple MCU outings, but one of his craziest experiences performing dangerous stunts came while filming the Wakanda battle in Avengers Infinity War. A wire was attached to Hargrave's chest to make it look as if he was running much faster. Hargrave made a misstep, which caused him to trip. I couldn't keep up with the winch, so I fell, and got dragged face first for about 20 yards, passing by all these superheroes. It's not gonna happen. Bobby Holland Hanton suffered quite a mighty blow while performing a risky stunt as Thor in Infinity War. After being smacked off his feet by Peter Dinklage's E-Tree, Hanton was punted off the ground while somersaulting through the air and ultimately landing face first on a rock and then head planting into the ground. While it may sound painful, to Hanton, the danger is all part of the job. Trust me, I know. George Kirby had quite the explosive job cut out for him while doubling for Benedict Cumberbatch in Doctor Strange. In the scene where Caecilius attacks the Sanctum Sanctorum, Kirby's assistance was required for a more rugged stunt. As an exploding spell is cast, a contraption consisting of a piston and wires would hoist him back extremely fast, causing him to fly upside down through the air. While Chris Pratt's Star-Lord mask has a built-in fan and vent to make it breathable, his stunt double, Chris Romrell, didn't have that same privilege. The mask became increasingly difficult for Romrell to see out of, and after a while, it became more of a liability. While performing an action scene in Infinity War that required him to perform a backflip, he hit the back of his head, which caused the mask to shatter off his face. But thankfully, Romrell wasn't hurt. The cast and crew behind the Marvel films have proven to be extremely committed to giving fans some killer action scenes. Even some of the biggest stars like to take part in their own stunt work, like Tom Holland and Sebastian Stan. What's your favorite Marvel action scene? 